So in about one minute, I'm gonna show you what a root uh, tear of the medial meniscus is. Okay, I'm gonna draw it out first so you understand, okay? We're gonna draw a femur. Okay, and then there's a patella. And then we're gonna draw the plateau of the tibia like this. The medial meniscus is a, sort of a U-shaped structure okay. like that that has some thickness to it. This is the anterior and that's the posterior side of the medial meniscus. Root tip, uh, this is the medial meniscus and it's attached basically on the tibial plateau in two spots firmly. Here and here. Anterior, uh, the anterior root, posterior root. Okay, and that's part of the horn. Anterior horn and uh, the posterior horn. So when you have a root tear, root tear. Very different than other tears. Many tears, if you look over here, when you have a meniscus tear, you can have a radial tear, you can have a longitudinal tear, you can have a, a, a complex tear, but root tear is very different. Root tear is, happens right here where it, it tears like that, so there will be a gap that forms, and when the tear, and when the, when the downward force comes down on the on the meniscus, the meniscus shifts because it's actually rotating on this hinge right here. So then you get an extruded medial meniscus where you get a big gap right there, and then this downward force from the femur actually puts a lot of pressure on the bone, and oftentimes you get bone marrow edema associated with a root tear. These tears are very important because if it stays like this, essentially it's almost like not having a meniscus. Uh, so uh, the treatment when, when, when possible is to do a root tear repair. Root tear repair is actually very cool. We make a hole right here and this is done uh, by way of, of an actual tunnel that starts here. We make a hole over there. We attach some sutures onto this uh, the, the posterior horn that's, that's torn, and then we pass those sutures into the hole, out this hole, and then we pull really hard, and when you do that, it actually brings it, it uh, reduces the torn uh, posterior horn into this bony bleeding bed, and then you tie a knot over here in a special way, and eventually the spot welds itself, and that's called root tear repair of the medial meniscus. So. So now that you know what a root tear is, I'm gonna show you how to identify it, okay? So the, the key points in identifying the tear is number one, look for bone marrow edema on the MRI. And number two, look for the gap. Look for the gap. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at the MRI right over here. Okay. Yeah, and so we're gonna start in this view right here. This is the, this, uh, the coronal view, okay, the coronal view. Now I look for bone marrow edema here because this is the plateau. So if you look at this and then look down over here, this area is this area, okay? Now, I, in this case, I do not see bone marrow edema. No bone marrow edema, no. Okay, and then I look for the gap. They, so now I'm looking way to the back, because remember, we're in the back. I look way to the back, and there is the gap, right there. You see there's a gap right there, okay? Uh, there's a gap, which is this gap that I mentioned. Now we're going to look at this side view, which is over here. And if we look at it in the side view, this is actually very interesting too. So you can see the posterior horn meniscus right there. So as we move, so this area corresponds to this spot right here where you see it. But now as we move towards the midline, it, it's going to disappear. So we go over here and we follow it. Boom, it disappeared. You see, it's not there anymore. And then if we continue towards the midline, you might see a little piece right there, and that's the little nubbin that's left over. So we call this the disappearing meniscus sign. It's there, not there. There, not there. And that is a classic finding for a root avulsion of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. Very important to identify.